Hi, I'm Dane. And I'm Renette from High Colleagues. And today we are showing you our Mulletal Trail Packlist. As you can see, we are staying at a beautiful hotel. Yesterday we arrived at Echternach because tomorrow we will start our trail. We decided to have a good night's rest and we're gonna show you our backlist. And the Mulatal Trail is a almost 120 kilometers long trail. It's a circular trail which consists of three loops combined together as one. Uh, we're gonna hike it in six days, so around 20 kilometers per day and we're gonna go camping right yes we're going camping and actually we brought some new gear that we're going to test we rented it from Heike's house which is a dutch company the things we are testing this trip is a tent i'm testing a quilt aletta is testing a z packs backpack so definitely stay tuned for that one and a little portable charger Charger. <laughs> <laughs> this one. <laughs> that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, like we mentioned, Hikers House actually recommend testing gear out before buying it. So that's what we're going to do as well on this beautiful trail in Luxembourg. Luxembourg? Luxembourg. Luxembourg. As the Dutch says it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we're going to start with your packlist. So let's start with the gear I am bringing on this trail. This is the side that I'm wearing on the trail. I have my undies. Those are from Marina Wool from Icebreaker. I have my sports bra, just a simple one from the supermarket, nothing special. Um, I'm always wearing shorts, but this trail is a special trail because I'm bringing new shorts. I had my previous shorts for like 10 or 12 years. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I think they will do fine. It's an upgrade from what I had. It are the Adidas Steric shorts. And as a shirt, I'm wearing a short sleeve from Icebreaker. And I have a new jacket with me. It's from Saleva. I never tested it before, so I'm pretty curious for my socks. I'm wearing my all time favorite in Jinji toe socks. And of course, I have my essentials like my cap. I'm probably not going to wear this to protect my face from the sun, but to protect my face from the wind because the weather forecast is absolutely rainy all week long. And for the rain gear, I have storm socks from Bridgedale. Those are waterproof socks. And I have my rain jacket and my rain pants from Frog Toxin. And I combine my socks with my ultra long peaks. When it's cold on a trail, I have my cumulus jacket right here and I have some extra uh, undies and an extra pair of socks. And I have my sunglasses from Oakley right here. And now let's hop over to the clothes I'm wearing when I'm at camp. I have some warmer clothes with me. Um, I have my possum socks right here. I have an icebreaker merino wool long sleeve and I have a wrap leggings. Those are gonna Probably gonna be my PJs for on camp. And when I'm at camp, I have some supermarket flip flops with me. And over here are my toiletries. I have a small toiletry bag with me. It's actually a belt pouch from my Head Gear backpack, but it fits its purpose, so it's fine. Inside, there is a brush and some hair elastics and a little shampoo. Painkillers, <laughs> you never know. I hope I don't eat those. And my toothpaste and my toothbrush. And the people who watched all my backlist before know that I always bring rennies with me because um, I can't stand different foods that well. So I need rennies for my stomach. And besides those toiletries, I have a Kula cloth. It's a new one. It's from Made in the Berge. It's a Dutch. Well, Austrian, she moved to Austria, a Dutch outdoor mountaineer. Uh, you can follow her on Instagram as well, we will put her link down here. Um, and I have a towel and some girl necessities for this week. <laughs> and for camp, I have a pillow. It's a expat ramp pillow. 
I have a sleeping bag liner. It's a cocoon and mummy liner because while well, Dane has a new quilt, so we want to protect his quilt, but I want to protect my sleeping bag as well. So here's a liner. I have a Thermarest Neoair X Lite uh, sleeping pad with me. And I, it's a bit overkill to be honest, but I have a Cumulus sleeping bag, the Panyam 600 with me. It's a bit too much, but I thought it would be a little bit cooler, but I'm a cold sleeper, so probably it's just fine for me. But we will see after this week. <laughs> Over here, I have my Soya Squeeze, my water filter. I have a little flask with me and the necessities, my spark and a cup, a foldable cup keep me for my tea or my food, whatever I put in there. I have a sea seat from Tromares as well, an S pen as we call it. I use it on the trail to sit on because it's probably all gonna be wet everywhere. So then my bottom stay dry, but I also put it underneath my um, sleeping bed as well. So it's more comfy to lay in bed. And on top of that, you see my trekking poles right here, my black diamonds. And right in this corner is the backpack I am bringing. I rented this by a hiker's house, like they mentioned earlier in this video. It's the Z-Pax Art Blast. I'm really curious to try this backpack because I already saw it on many, many YouTube videos, but to get it to Europe, that's a bit expensive. So I'm really happy I can try it first. And on top of that, why I want to try it is because um, I really want a lightweight backpack, but I don't want to go frameless because to be honest, I just don't like famous backpacks and this is a perfect combination of it. So hopefully I'll like it. Um, like I said, I rented it via Hiker's House, so super curious about that one. And um, combined with the backpack, I have a backpack liner, just a simple plastic bag to protect my essentials. And before I head over to some of the food we bring, we also bring a hiking map from the Mulatal Trail. Uh, we have a GPS track where we really like those little booklets to see where we are, to read about the place that we are, the tourist attractions that we see. And it's really good to have like an extra backup for like the GPS or when you found die or something like that. So definitely liking those ones on the trail. And last but not least, our food section. It is not sufficient enough for the whole trail, but the Wurdetal Trail is a super touristy area. So there's gonna be a lot of cafes, boulangerie, stuff like that. So. We don't need food for the whole trail already. Um, but as you can see, we have um, some nut mixes, some candy, of course, I'm Dutch, so I'm bringing licorice. I have some tea, Snickers, bars, and some fire pot meals, which we haven't tried before. We tried freeze-dried food, but as I mentioned earlier, I'm not that keen on freeze-dried food, but I'm really curious about the fire pot ones. So that's the first as well. And now, Let's hop over to Dane's side. So I let the show what she is bringing. And by the way, all the things, all the gear we have here, you can check out in the description as well. We have a link to our lighter pack gear list with all the links to the products, the weight, the costs, you name it. So let's head over to my side. What I will be wearing on the trail is of course my orange Patagonia shirt. I have a cap and Aletta brought a new mid layer. I'm bringing a new mid layer as well. It's from Salewa. Really curious. It is kind of replacing our Atom SL, which we used for the last couple of trails, which we really love. But again, this trail, we're going to test out a lot of new gear and this is one of them. Um, with that, I have my Salomon shorts, of course, and the famous Injinji socks. Would never replace the Injinji socks again. If it is sunny, we have the sunglasses. If we're not going to bring them, the sun won't shine. So we're bringing the sunglasses, of course. I'm bringing two pair of boxer shorts. One I will be wearing and one spare, and they're made out of bamboo. And bamboo is really working for me, so I would not change it. And in case it's going to rain, I have my rain mittens, my Bridge Hill Storm socks, the same as Aletta has, and the Frog Dogs jacket. 
really lightweight and really cheap. You can buy it on Amazon for I think around $30 and so far it's the best rain jacket we had and we use it on a lot of trails. In case it gets really cold at camp, I have my Cumulus down jacket. The stuff I will be wearing at night. I have my icebreaker, base layer, long sleeve and a zipper in case it gets a little bit hot I can release some air. Like Aletta I have the wrap power stretch leggings and some warm merino wool socks from Darntoff. And yeah, a little bit overkill we think but a beanie, some liner gloves and a buff. So let's move over to my sleep system. I have the Neo Air X Lite. I'm giving this one last try. I already made a gear review out that it isn't my favorite sleeping bed, but it's never too late to test it out one more trail. So I'm really curious. On top of that, I have an expat ram pillow as well, like a letter, and a sleeper bag liner. I have a sleeping bag liner for my new quilt. And this is my C2 Summit quilt that I rented from Hiker's House. This is the first time that I'm actually trying a quilt. Reason, it saves half the weight and half the size in your backpack. It has a two degree Celsius comfort rating. So I'm really curious about this quilt. And right here I have my S pad as well, same as Aletta. It has multiple functions. You can use it on your sleeping pad while having a break uh, at camp you name it it's really really handy now let's move over to my drinking system i have a catadyne b3 one liter filtration system there are a lot of rivers waterfalls you name it on this trail <laughs> so i think this will be enough and i can just refill it again and again um, i have a little air light towel it's really really tiny and these are my toiletries it all comes in a toiletry bag from CPAX is is a belt pouch originally but I use it as a toiletry bag um, I have a toothbrush inside a sleeping mask in case it's really light in the tent and I need to get it a little bit more dark some painkillers toothpaste uh, you name it like the basic necessities in your toiletry bag and right over here, I have my famous Ultra Lone Peak 6. Again, love the trail runners, never go without them. And my camp flip-flops, very cheap. They cost like five euros in a very cheap shop. So really handy and they are very light. And all of that goes inside my backpack. It's a backpack from Lightweight. It is frameless, very, very light. So far, I love it. The only downside is that the hip belt is a little bit thin and it cuts a little bit in my stomach but I really like the so that's all the stuff that I'm wearing and of course we are hiking as a couple and the plus of hiking as a couple is that you can share the weight and you can share some gear one thing we are sharing is of course the tent it's a big Agnes tent it's a three person tent so far we only use the two person tents we tried a tent from Bach, from Lightwave, from uh, MSR. We tried a lot of tents, but so far we found out that we actually need a three person tent for us because we bring a lot of gear and of course all our camera equipment. So that's why we are trying a little bit bigger tent, the Big Agnes three persons. Um, and we split like the tent stakes. So I let the Ormi can carry it and the other can carry the tent itself. And our cooking system is a tox pot. It's almost one liter and inside is some gas. And we have a Soto Windmaster stove. It is really light and really handy because like you see here, you don't need the lighter to put it on and it's really good against high winds. Right here, we have our first aid kit with some painkillers. We have a heat blanket and we have some cordage in case some of our gear breaks down or tears, we can repair it. Uh, we have a little knife here, a pocket knife, some tape, a nail clipper, just a little bit of stuff. 
we are not medical experts or whatsoever but this is just what we bring and so far it's really worked for us and we have a headlight for emergencies as well it has like the red lights and like white lights for at camp really handy and they are really light and all that goes inside a little bit electricity bag with just some chargers and cables and some extra sd cards so of course we are bringing a lot of camera gear and that's why we are bringing two power banks this is our original power bank and this is the power bank that we are trying on this trail you can see the difference and this is way lighter and it should charge about the same so we are really curious to test these out so we hope you learned a lot from our packlist and we're super super curious to start our Murata trail adventure and we want to take a moment to thank our patrons who support us on our adventures for becoming full-time video creators, right? Yeah, as a Patreon, you can get early access to our videos, some behind the scenes footage, and you can really support us. And if you go one tier up, you get a custom beautiful design card and handwritten card by Aletta and me. Thank you for that. Now we're heading over to the famous and beautiful Moeletal Trail. And if you have any questions about our packlist, don't hesitate to put your questions in the comment. And if you watch it all the way to the end, put a little backpack emoji so we know you're a true hiker and a true viewer of our videos. Bye!